Hi, uh, w welcome back to Assassin Nathan in the Kitchen. A new segment, old segment, it's kind of based on an old segment, Nathan Eats, from 10 years ago. You might remember my cool intro. It was pretty cool. This is kind of new, it's in the kitchen with Assassin Nathan, or Assassin Nathan in the kitchen, one of the two, where I'm gonna eat stuff, cook stuff, and let you know what I think, maybe do like comparison reviews. I definitely thought of this on my own. I didn't steal it from another YouTuber. Th this is all me, 100% original. No one's ever thought of reviewing frozen food before, ever. Especially not Leonard from Community. Greendale Community College, that is. He definitely didn't review anything. Anyway, today I've got Super Pretzel. I was in the local Safeway and I noticed, hey, what is that? And it's a six pack of Ready in seconds, fully baked soft pretzels. Super pretzel, original. They are good for, you can do them in the microwave, so we're gonna try that. Conventional or toaster oven, I'll use the conventional oven. And I've got an air fryer. They don't have air fryer instructions, but we're gonna try it. And then once we figure out which one tastes the best, they have salt packets in here. Which one of those tastes the best? We are going to make our own. So we'll use this, we'll use one of these, but then we'll put our own seasoning on it. Oh, Nathan, get a close-up of this, don't forget. This is the perfect snack with simple ingredients baked to perfection. It's the snack that needs nothing but 30 seconds. So you got heating instructions, some uh, nutritional facts. This is my lunch today. I'm going to eat like four pretzels at least. So let's get into it. We'll do microwave first since it's in order. And we have to preheat the oven anyway, so we'll do that. I'm going to come over here. Just ignore this. We're definitely not going to do a video on that ever. Bake. 400 start, great. And then we'll just come in here. We're gonna use this small pan. But for now, microwave. What's in the microwave? Nothing, wow. We have to, I'm doing this all with one hand. Uh, it looks like there's a pull tab. Here are your six pretzels. Now what does it say for microwave instructions? Place frozen pretzel on microwave plate. If desired, moisten pretzel with a small amount of water, then sprinkle about a half teaspoon of salt provided per pretzel. No, do not use entire salt pack if heating entire box pretzels. Heat pretzels for 30 seconds on high. So let's, I'm, I need both hands to do this, so we'll get back to these in a moment. Here is the salt pack, by the way. Moisten pretzel with a small amount of water. Sprinkle pretzels with salt, according to taste. Do not use entire salt pack if not heating entire box of pretzels. Heat and serve. So there's our pretzel. We're gonna moisten it up. Um, do we need to? It's a little, yeah, let's moisten it quick and do that. Spill some salt. So I've moistened the top. We're just gonna kind of sprinkle a little bit on top here. It's not really doing much. It's not sticking. Okay, awesome. Awesome, so maybe I didn't moisten it enough. Maybe, maybe I'll flip it and like dunk it now. Let's try that. Oh, there's some salt on there. Okay, so now it's 30 seconds on high. Okay, 30 seconds is up. This should be done. Oh, it's warm. It is warm. I don't know why I'm doing this in one continuous shot. Man, I really gotta sweep up that salt. Hang on. 30 seconds on high. Okay. You know what? It's not bad. Tastes like a pretzel. The salt, I don't know. I'm, I must have done something wrong with the salt, but. Whew. I, yeah, I'm getting like too much salt here. But the pretzel by itself is pretty good, actually. For microwave 30 seconds? Mm hmm. Yep. Oof. Yeah, I'm just getting. Like the chunks of salt are a bit too much. Okay, not bad. Microwave, acceptable. I would eat one out of the microwave. Will it be better in the oven? Will it be better in the air fryer? We'll find out. So I don't really know exactly how to air fry one of these. I'm kind of making it up. They don't have instructions. I'll show you what I'm doing. So up, up top here on this uh, Master Chef, um, he's my favorite video game character, Master Chef. This one looks like it's a cupcake, so that might be good for baking. So we're gonna try that. I don't think we're gonna go the 10 to 15 minutes. I'm just preheating it. 
I think we'll just do it for like, we'll try the 30 seconds and see how she goes. What do they recommend for ovens? 400, place frozen pretzel, cookie sheet, three to four minutes. So we'll try, we'll try in the air fryer for three to four minutes, maybe five. And we'll see where we get to. Oven is still preheating. So when you're making one of these, you want to consider the, the preheat time of your other implements, right? Where the microwave, there's no preheat necessary, you throw it in 30 seconds later, you got yourself a pretzel. Not bad. Not bad. You don't really have to preheat an air fryer per se, but there is a, a ready light on it, so I'm preheating it, and then the oven needs to be preheated, obviously. We're gonna put them in the oven for three to four minutes. We'll watch it, because it, it does specify you may need to change that. The air fryer, probably three to four minutes as well, I would think. And we'll see where we get to. So I'm just gonna grab one of the pretzels. I put them back in the freezer to keep them frozen. So I don't want them to like thaw out or anything in between setups. I don't know that I'm gonna salt this one. Honestly, I felt like the salt was a bit much. So we're just gonna go in plain on this one. Green light means ready. We got this pretzel. Goes in. Close it up and we'll just set the timer for I don't know, not that long, like that long. That's just under five. And we are at 180 Celsius, that's 360 Fahrenheit for for you Americans. And that's that's what's recommended up here, but they say 10 to 15, and that might be from raw dough though. Welcome back, this is a mini micro review. This is the AHA sparkling beverage, uh, natural flavors, water beverage, zero calories review. This is the peach flavor. So we're gonna peach, pe peach and honey. So we're gonna give it a little sip and see what we think. Now I've had this before, so. Yep, that's a good one. Recommend if you like sparkling water, aha, peach and honey. Give it a, give it a taste. Oven preheat update. It is not preheated. Check back later. It was just about done, but it is golden brown, baby. So let's get that on a plate. Let's get this on a plate. It looks done, maybe overdone. We'll see. Okay, so we've got the one out of the air fryer. Oof, it's a little, I think it's a bit overdone, actually. Mmm, okay. Wow, it's, it is a bit overdone. I wouldn't go quite the full four minute. I think like two or three is all you really need. Oof, it is hot, it is hot. I'm burning my hands. So it's a little golden brown on the outside. The inside, quite soft still. Mmm, that's good. That's, air fryer's winning so far. Microwave is okay if you're in a hurry. But if you got a few minutes, air fry it for like three minutes max. And I think it'd be, come out like perfect. Mmm, mmm. Oven's done. We got this, this is the frozen one. We got our pan, boom. Now they say put it on foil, I'm gonna do that. Okay, follow me to the oven. And while that goes, let's finish off the air fryer one. Okay, we're in the final seconds here. Four, three, two, one. There it is. Ooh, that does look good. That looks done. So let's stop. Looks good. It's a little less golden brown. I didn't, it wasn't in there quite as long. It's not quite as hot as the air fryer. Hmm, go four minutes. It's a little cold still. So I'm gonna put it back in and we'll come back. It's not bad. It's better than the microwave, but honestly, I think your best bet's the air fryer. So, after I finish this, we're gonna go back in the air fryer, throw a, a little extra seasoning, and we'll get to that in a moment. What I got here, I got a couple different seasonings. This one is Cajun seasoning from my grandmother. She makes made this seasoning herself, mixed up some spices. So we're gonna try that on one of them. And then this one is from a company called Epicure. It's rosemary garlic oven fry seasoning. Sounds like it'll be great. It smells amazing, honestly. Ooh, <clears throat> I do like that. So we're gonna put these, uh, we're gonna moisten the top a little bit, and then we're gonna sprinkle some of this on it, and then we're gonna throw them in the air fryer and see how she goes. We're gonna do a little less time in the air fryer, because last time it was a bit overdone. Not too much though, it's actually pretty good. But we will see you back over here when we're sprinkling. This, it's got a sprinkle top, so we're just gonna go with that. Ugh. Just a nice light dusting. Sorry, you couldn't see that. But this will be going in the air fryer now. The air fryer is preheated. And away she goes. There we go. There we go. Okay, that one will be ready. First one's done. This with the Cajun seasoning. Let's give it a little taste here. Mmm. 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 Air fryer is the way to go, guys. If you got an air fryer, mm, go with that. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Cake has got a little cake to it. Not too much, though. It's not bad, not bad. This is the rosemary garlic one. I'm way over here. I'm just going to hang out on this side. This is a rosemary garlic one. Again, air fryer. I think that's my favorite way to do these. So let's give it a little taste. It's hot. You know it's hot. Oh. That's the one. That's the one. Okay. Let's, I'm going to let this cool off while we go over this. My overall review is that for four bucks, five bucks, whatever I paid for it, you get six pretzels, which is enough for, you know, your family of three. You each get two pretzels or one, uh, one, one guy like me. I had five today, which is probably too much. That's, they're about 140 calories each. They're not massive, but they are a decent size. Personally, like it, it came with a packet of salt, which is nice if you like chunky salt. I'm not a huge fan. I found it a little much. I liked it plain and I liked adding my own seasoning. I think for the price, it's not bad. It's not bad. Like if you're out at Safeway or some sort of grocery store of some sort, check them out. Super pretzel. The blue and black box, they look inconspicuous. Like they might be some off brand. I think they are their own brand and I like them. I like them. I would eat them again. I absolutely would. My personal recommendation for cooking, if you're in a super rush, like you got to get out of the house in the next minute, 30 seconds in the microwave, pretty quick. But my favorite way was the air fryer. About four minutes in there, you get a nice crisp top. The inside's nice and moist still. Very good. About 180 Celsius. Give it a try. Thank you for joining Assassin Nathan in the kitchen or in the kitchen with Assassinathan. We're not sure what we're going to go with yet. We'll get some sort of logo going at some point. But that's it for today. Have a, have a good day, maybe, or evening, whenever. See ya.